Recognized as one of the first Canadian country female artists to achieve national recognition, Diane Lee first performed as a featured vocalist in the Toronto pop band The Sapphires. By the early 1960s, she was a featured vocalist in the Western group Sons of the Saddle, had worked the Toronto club scene as a solo act, and toured briefly playing drums in Patsy Cline's road band. Over the years, Diane has recorded for Capital, Quality, Birchmount, Chart, Condor, and Marathon labels. She has had 16 charted singles, including six top 10 hits and three number one hits on the RPM country charts. In 1994, music trade publication RPM considered her amongst the top 10 Canadian country artists of the previous 30 years, based on her standings in the publication's charts. Diane was a featured vocalist on Carl Smith's Country Music Hall TV series from 1964 to 1970, the first country music show aired on CTV. She was a frequent special guest on TV shows such as Ray Griff's Global Television Series, The Ronnie Prophet Show, and the Wheeling West Virginia Jamboree out of the States, amongst others. In addition, Diane co-hosted the Harry Hibbs Show. I'd like to feature Diane Lee right now to do a song for you. It is a bit of an old song from a few years ago, a thing called I Really Don't Want to Know. While touring in the U.S., Diane sang alongside many country greats, such as Dolly Parton, Dottie West, and Waylon Jennings, to name a few. She has performed at the famed Grand Old Opry in Nashville, the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas, and has entertained American troops stationed in Germany. Diane Lee won the prestigious RPM Gold Leaf Award, which were the precursor to the Juno Awards, for Top Female Country Vocalist of the Year consecutively from 1966 to 1969. In 1970, the first Juno Award ever presented to an artist was awarded to Diane Lee for Top Country Female Act of the Year. Diane is a true pioneer of Canadian country music, paving the way for many of the past and future stars of Canadian country music today. I just want to take a moment to thank you for following your dreams and blazing a trail for all of us women in country music. Congratulations on your much-deserved induction into the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame. I guess uh, it's safe to say now that all these years have gone by that it's really about time. No, actually it's about talent, really great talent, yours. Congratulations, Diane, and welcome to the club. Marie Bertrell here. Hi, Diane, and congratulations on your induction into the Hall of Fame. I have a very fond memory of meeting you in the early 70s in London, Ontario at Centennial Hall. You are opening for Sonny James. I desperately wanted to meet you, and I did get a chance to meet you, but I was so starstruck that I couldn't say a word to you that night. And you were very nice to me, but I don't think I ever did say anything. Anyways, tonight I do want to tell you how proud we are of you. We hope you're having a great evening. And to also thank you for being a real trailblazer for all of the other female artists to follow. 
Have a great night. In 1970, Diane Lee was the first person to ever receive the RPM Gold Leaf Award at St. Lawrence Hall. The award was later nicknamed the Juno Awards. Diane was the very first recipient of a Juno Award. She was so surprised someone had to tell her to go to the stage, they're going to give you something. This is what the award looked like. We induct Diane into the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame. Here, her accomplishments and her legacy will be preserved forever. Congratulations, Diane. Hi, Diane, it's Johnny Reed. I just wanted to say congratulations in your induction into the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame. Till then, God bless. Congratulations.